Hi everyone! Today I will show you how to create realistic cut paper effect in Procreate. And for this tutorial I will do an underwater paper cut design. Trust me, doing this is easier than you think. I'm drawing on a square canvas from Procreate. Let's start with picking the color. Pick the darkest blue color. You can download this color palette, just check the link in the description box. Drag and drop the color to color the first layer. This will be our first paper in the design. Now go back to the colors and pick the next darkest blue color, the second one from the right side. Now we have to create a new layer for the next paper. Now let's pick the brush. I'm going to be using Studio Pen from Inking. Draw a shape similar to this in the middle of the paper. Maybe let's make it less rounded at the bottom. Ok, color the outside of this shape, so just drag and drop the color like this. This is our second paper. We can start making this more interesting and drawing some details. Change the brush size to 16 and draw some wavy lines to represent seaweeds. This will be enough for this layer. Go to the layers and create a new layer for new paper. Go to the colors and pick the next blue color. Draw a shape around the previous one. The new shape doesn't have to be exactly the same as the first one. Just make sure to keep some space between them. Color the outside of this shape. Let's draw some plants coming out of the paper. It's good to keep it in simple shapes without too much details. We will be doing more detailed elements later, on the papers that will be on top. This way we can create a nice feeling of depth. Let's add some more here on the top of the shape to make it more interesting. When you finish, go to the colors and pick the next blue color, the third one from the left side. Go to the layers and create a new layer on top of the other ones. Draw a shape around the previous one. And again, color the outside of this shape. I am just fixing it a little bit here. And I'm going to make that left corner bigger. So I'm clicking on the eraser tool and one more time. And now I can pick a brush that my eraser will be. And I'm making it studio pen. So the same that I'm using for drawing. Okay, let's add a dolphin to this paper. If you want, you can draw it on your own or you can download my free stamp brushes. The link will be in the description box. If you're interested, you can also check my whole set of Ocean Creatures stamps. Link for this will be also in the description box. Ok, let's go back to the dolphin. You just simply tap on the screen and you have a dolphin. You can adjust the size, of course. But for this drawing, it's better to create the dolphin on a separate layer. So let's do that. Go to the layers and create a new layer. Now let's change the brush size to 26 and stamp it somewhere here. Because this is on a separate layer, we can now move it and rotate it if you want to. It's important that the dolphin will be connected somewhere to the cut paper shape, like this. Let's keep this dolphin on a separate layer for now, just in case maybe later we might want to adjust the size of it or placement. Click on the layer under the dolphin to draw some plants coming out of the paper. Change the brush back to Studio Pen. 
Draw a wavy shape like this and color it inside. Pick the eraser tool and erase small holes in it. Erase some holes on the outside of the paper. Ok, let's create a new layer for new paper. Click on the layer of dolphin and then click on that plus to create a new layer above it. Now go to the colors and pick the second blue color. Draw a shape outside of the previous shape. And color outside of it. Let's add some rocks to the bottom of the shape. Drop the color in there. Let's also draw here some plants. Something like this. Drop the color in there. And now pick the eraser tool and erase a little oval strips at the top of the plant. Erase some lines like this. And make two lines to separate those three shapes. This one is finished. Let's add one more plant on the left side. Draw wavy lines like this. Ok, let's add here a fish. So create a new layer for that. Change the brush for the fish stamp. This one. Change the brush to size 12 and stamp it somewhere here. Click on the transformation tool and move it and rotate it so it will look good. Don't forget that this should be connected to the paper. Click on the layers and create a new layer for a new paper. Go to the colors and pick the lightest blue color. Change the brush back to studio pen. Draw a shape around the previous shape. And here also draw some rocks. Color it in like before. Let's draw here some simple plants and in a moment we'll add here other more detailed elements. Ok, this paper will have also a jellyfish and fish. Create a new layer to add them. Pick the brush with jellyfish. Change the brush size to 20 and stamp it on the left side. Click on the arrow tool to move it and rotate it. You can change the size of the stamp also here by pulling out this point. Just make sure that at the bottom you have selected uniform option. Let's create a new layer for a fish. Pick a brush with this fish. Change the size of the brush to 16 and stamp it on the right side. Click on the arrow tool and then click flip horizontal. Move the fish so it touches the paper. Click on the arrow tool to get out of this option. Open the layers and pick the layer of this paper shape. 
pick the eraser tool and erase some holes on the outside of it. Ok, we are almost ready to make it look like a realistic cut paper design. Now, if you want to, you can go back to the dolphin or another added element and adjust the size or placement of it. When you finish, click on the layer of the dolphin and click Merge Down to merge it with the paper underneath it. Do the same with the other elements and papers. So now we have 5 layers with a cut paper and one full paper layer at the bottom. Because my drawing looks a little bit small on the canvas, I'm going to select all the layers and make them bigger. I'm swiping to the right on all of the layers with cut papers and I'm clicking on the arrow tool. And with the uniform option selected, I'm going to resize all of those layers. Ok, that's better. Let's finally turn it into a cut paper design. To do that, go to the layers and click on the top layer. Now, swipe it to the left and click duplicate. Do it again. Click on the layer under the top layer. We have to color this layer white. To do that, click on it and pick select. This option, color fill, should be turned on. Go to the colors and pick white color. Now, if you click on the layers, you will see that this layer is white. Click on the layer under, click again and pick select. This layer should be black, so pick black color. Click on the layers and you will see that this layer now is black. Now you have to do the same thing for all of the other layers. So click on this layer and swipe it to the left and pick duplicate and do it again. Because I already have black color here, I'm going to click on this layer and click again to pick select. Click on the layers and that layer is black now. Click on the layer above, pick select and change the color to white. So here I already did it to all of the layers. Layer number one doesn't need it. Now all the black layers will need to have a Gaussian blur effect added. Click on this magic wand tool and pick Gaussian blur, pick layer and now slide the pencil on the screen to the right to set it to 3.3%. Click on the layers and pick another black layer. Go to the adjustments and pick Gaussian Blur and Layer and set it to 3.3%. Do it for the other black layers too. When you finish, select all the black layers, so swipe them to the right like this. Click on the arrow tool and we have to move those layers a little bit to create the shadow. I have a uniform option selected and I'm going to tap few times in this bottom left corner to slightly move it to this side. As you can see, we already have a shadow here. Now let's select all of the white layers and move them too. Click on one white layer and swipe the other ones to the right. Click on the arrow tool and this time we'll move it to the top right corner. Tap few times here. Now the paper looks like it's thick. We can still add the paper texture to this illustration. Go to the layers and click on the top layer and create a new layer. Go to the actions menu, click on add and then insert the file. Here I have some of my paper textures that you can download for free. The link will be in the description box. I'm going to pick one of them. And now I'm going to adjust the size of it so it will cover the whole canvas. Now go to the layers and click on that end here and pick multiply. Now you can see the texture on the papers. Let's turn down the opacity to 52%. 
It looks like the snow. The texture is also on the black and white layers. It would be nicer if it's only on the colored paper layers. To achieve that we have to go to the layers and click on that layer and pick clipping mask. Now you can see there is no texture on the white layer here. We have to duplicate this layer and move it above the other colored papers. So now here let's click on it and pick clipping mask. Now do the same to the rest of the colored layers. Add this paper texture also to the layer number one, so to the bottom layer. And it's done. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you want to share your drawing with me, please tag me on Instagram. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!